Me, Joel, and a few very others have not been banned. My lady and press agent as such have been made a part of the Imperial Senate. We have all come together on this day to discuss the Treaty of Oceania, officially bringing an end to the Oceania War. I will be representing the role players in this peace conference. Due to this war, the relations between the role players and Double Zeta Breaker are at an all-time low. It might not recover. All three universes will be cut off from each other to ensure future peace and it will not be allowed to interact physically with each other. Double Zeta and the Zeta Reach must officially be demilitarized and be left with a very small military and also must pay large war reparations. He must also divorce all of his wives except maybe for Stella. Or watch and allow the role players and everyone else to fuck them as he is cucked. Hold it, motherfucker, we aren't agreeing to that sick shit you even think we will and we will fucking kill you right here. It's either he divorces them all or he gets cucked. We will not back down on this one, so you must choose. Very well. We will be forced to divorce them all, but as such you as a representative of the Fallen Zeta Republic must also pay war reparations to the Del Sol Valley Empire. Very well, I will do so myself. The Prosperity Universe also must be greatly reduced in size to ensure that no large military can ever be built again and he must remove the name of the Zeta Reach. Now that Zeta is divorced from his wives, the role players and others will get to decide where they will all go. I'm sure Tenchu would love to see all of his girls again. I've heard of that. The Brotherhood somehow revived him and freed him from Kane's corruption. The role players and others must sign a non-aggression pact to ensure future peace. And to this day, the United Channels are dissolved by the Order of Lady and Press Age. Very well, but the role players will hereby form the League of Channels to replace the United Channels. We will all work together to form a better and brighter future for us all. To build prosperity for us all? With Double Zeta's divorce, he is not allowed to remarry them or make clones in any way. No, we K is banned along with all Zeta clones. And all Double Zeta Breaker characters, especially the ones supportive of the Zeta Republic and the role players are banned and must never be allowed to be unbanned again. All Zeta Propin missiles along with all Zeta Weapon or other weapons of mass destruction are also banned. Zeta's name will also be banned and all must refer to her as bitch. All trade with the role players and Empire are allowed but no one must trade with the Zeta Reach. For the horrible crimes and if the Zeta Reach committed, they must be severely punished. But I do expect us to be only a temporarily ban on trade. I don't give a goddamn fuck what anyone says you're placing a mini hard sanctions against the Zeta Reich. We are justified in doing so as for all the horrible destruction they had caused, they must be punished to ensure nothing like this happens again. Here is a list of all the other things the Zeta Reach must do according to the Treaty of Oceania. With this, we bring an end to the Oceania War and bring peace back to our universes. The signing of the Treaty of Oceania has come to an end. Oceania War has officially come to an end, and I clam this is a victory for the Del Sol Valley Empire. Oh hell, Indian Press Age! Oh hell, the Del Sol Valley Empire!